Yes, sir. Yes, sir. J York football, mic'd up sports one. We are live on the sick podcast, Steeler Crazy. Before we bring on our guest, we want to give a big shout out to Steel City Wheelhouse, where the bar is set. Tires for all cars and trucks can now be purchased online at steelcitywheelhouse.com. And best of all, financing is available. Shout out to our guys, John and John down there. Been riding with us all season. We say it all the time. Number 30 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Jalen Warren gets all his custom auto work done there. It's the only place to go in Pittsburgh, and that's Steel City Wheelhouse, where the bar is set. Yes, sir. It's an appropriate shirt. We got uh, our favorite Ginzer on today, and it's an appropriate hat that you're rocking. Uh, right? Got, Tell I, us I, about I, that hat. The bandwagon uh, off air, but uh, I, this is actually a Duquesne football hat, so. Um, that that's the story behind this one, but got to wrap it. So hopefully everybody in the Berg knows that uh, by now. And and if they don't, they're gonna get quite familiar because uh, March Madness is is here, baby, and we're excited yeah. to chat a little bit with this next guest, JY. Yeah, what do you say? We'll bring them on. Christian Kuntz coming up next, or now we're coming live. up right now. Christian, what's going oh on, man? Gosh. How are you? We're live. What's up, fellas? Oh, thanks for having me on. And you know, I didn't mean the bandwagon comment. I know you're a true fan at heart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Shout yeah, out to our guy Jake Dixon too, man. So love seeing him out there as well. Yeah. One Shout guy you don't want to mess with, Jake Dixon. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, Christian, thanks for joining us. I know that uh we're excited to talk to a Pittsburgh Steeler. Given what's transpired this, you know, past week plus, all the craziness. The first question, man, I have to ask you, the biggest story in Pittsburgh by far, the Duquesne Dukes in the in the oh. tournament, winning the A-10, brother. How, how does that feel? How cool is that? <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I just got the chills. I, I, got, I had the chills, man. I mean, watching that game yesterday, um, it was it – was, it's just unbelievable. I'm so happy for them, the university, the team, Coach Dan brought. I mean, those guys on the team uh, – Jake DeMichael, a Yids are on on the team from Olsh, um, a walk on that's you know, you know, almost like the glue to the team. That kid, he makes the small plays and really no one no one realizes. But I'm just so happy for them. The university, it's just huge, man. Like for them to go to the tournament and and it's just been a success. And I'm so happy for them. I can't wait for Thursday. Did you have a relationship at all with Coach Dambra? You get to meet him uh, a few times. I, I've met him before um, a couple years ago, and, and if we crossed paths, you know, I we would say hello, whatever, but not not to an extent where um, we know each other well. But um, I think he knows that I'm a fan. I feel like yeah. they they uh, probably not, but he's seen me at the games probably or whatever, and um, I'm always trying to support and. Unbelievable, dude! I'm I'm so I'm so psyched. Well, you called D. Michelle the glue guy for Duquesne. You're a glue guy for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you remain with the black and gold, man. Three year deal to remain home. How how happy are you? And how's it feel to have that security? Um, you know, it's 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 surreal to to you know I'd be I was you know begging for a chance to get in the NFL years ago and um to sign a second contract, especially here at home with the Steelers is, it's just, it's surreal. It's life changing. It's, you know, it's, it's not a sense of security for me. You know, everyone's like, how's the sense of security? But, you know, for me, um, I'm still on a one snap contract, you know, um, a one play contract mm -hmm. that, you know, that's kind of what I live by and that's my motto, but um, it does feel good to, to, you know, know that they, they appreciate me and, and they want me here. And that's, you know, motivated me more to, to work even harder and, and, you know, do what I got to do to the best of my abilities. Well, a little bit of an overhaul this off season so far, you're going to be back, but certainly a lot of guys you were playing with last season will not. Obviously the big move uh, at coming at quarterback. Tell me a little bit just about, you know, you're probably chilling at home, hanging with some friends or something, kicking back, having an Iron City at Permanis, and you see Russell Wilson coming to the Steelers. And, like, what what is the the reaction? Like, what are you telling your your buddy as you're, as you're hanging out there? Uh, just, like, no one's saying – like, it's a business, man, and they're, they're going to – 
you know, do what's ever right by the business and whatever they think's right. And, um, you know, I trust them and believe in, in, in the guys in the front office and, and what they do with, with the Pittsburgh Steelers organization. They've always done it, you know, top tier. And, um, you know, I was close with, with the guys that, you know, Kenny, Mitch, Mace, um, all those guys. And, you know, it, it does suck to, to lose friends in the locker room and, and relationships you've built over years. And, you know, those guys will be friends of mine for life. Um, but at the same time, you know, getting a guy like Russell Wilson, um, it is cool. Like it, it is, it's exciting. And it's always exciting getting a new guy. Um, but at the same time, it does hurt to, to lose some friends and, and, and some really good competitors and teammates in those guys. Yeah. So we, we know you were pretty close with Kenny Pickett. It was, you know, hard to see him go just, you know, obviously as a player, but as a friend. For sure. Yeah. And, I, and I'm happy for him. Um, you know, Kenny's an ultimate competitor, man. Like anybody that tries to backlash him and, and say things, you know, that he, he tried to like chicken out or what, you know, whatever's being, being said, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Like that guy, that guy is, a type of guy that you would follow into a wood chipper and, you know, stuff that we say a foxhole guy that anybody that's in that locker room knows like Kenny Pickett, you know, Kenny Pickett would, would do anything for the team and he would do anything to win a game. And those are the kind of teammates and, and friends that I like to be around. So I'm sure your head was spinning with the Russell Wilson news. And then you get word that the Steelers signed Justin Fields, you know, Omar's cooking as usual, but this is like, you know, something that the Steelers haven't done in a while. Just kind of talk about, you know, that signing. And, you know, I know you guys aren't there right now, but just, you know, once everything, when you really, you know, go to practice facility, like all these guys are here now, like it's like a, it's, it's a new, new era, I guess you can say in Pittsburgh, really. Yeah, I mean, every year when new guys come in, you you got to form new relationships and and you know figure out how to work with certain guys and what works and what doesn't work. And um, the turnaround in the NFL, I think that's what most people don't really understand. Like how we touched on the relationships, like you get so close with the guy, you work with him for years, and then all of a sudden, like he's not there anymore. And you know you got a new locker mate. You have a new locker mate maybe every other day, every two days, like during the season with guys being rotated in and um, it's crazy. And, you know, I'm not one here. I'm not, I'm not a couch GM. Like a lot of the, you know, a lot of my fellow Yinzers. Like us. I used to be, I used to be a couch GM um, until, you know, I realized these guys, their jobs are extremely hard and, and um, you know, I have full faith and full trust in what they're doing. And, you know, those guys know what they're doing especially Omar. <laughs> yeah, and long snappers do matter. I think we're going to get a, we're going to get a t-shirt. Uh, we, we have our guy from the running back club and he has like a, you know, running black thing. So I, I think we should make one for long snappers, but uh, just to kind of go up, piggyback off what Mike said, very happy, you know, that you signed, um, you know, it, it's, it's just all around great stuff. So just wanted to say Thank that you. Mike. For sure, man. And we've heard a lot this off season with new guys coming in like Patrick Queen saying things like anybody would want to play for Coach Tomlin, like just going to bat for him left and right. Uh, Talk to me just a little bit about that mindset, because there were a lot of couch GMs right after the season saying things like, well, the Steelers in the locker room, they don't know about Mike Tomlin. And then pretty much everybody from Cam Hayward to TJ Watt and out of the free agents coming in and players that they traded for, or yeah, you guys traded for are like, Come on, what the hell is everybody talking about? Yeah, I mean, it's like notoriously known that every single player in the league wants to play for Coach Tomlin. Um, And, you know, I understand why I've been there. And I understand why when you're on the outside looking in and you're like, you want to play for that guy. He's just a guy that, you know, motivates you. And, um, you know, people think that like, oh, he's a player's coach and he's too nice to the players. Like, you're not you're not in there behind the closed doors when you know you're not doing your job and he's calling you out in front of everybody and how you know how humiliating how embarrassing that is you know as a grown man getting called out in front of your peers um you know to to pick your stuff up and you know he holds you accountable um but he's there to support you and you know push you to to push you to your limits and that's that's why i think like guys want to play for him because they know that 
you know, they're going to get the best out of themselves when they play for him. For sure. What needs to happen this year for you guys to make the playoffs? I mean, what what are the goals? I mean, last year, obviously, you, you make the playoffs. I should say advance in the playoffs. Um, you know, Mason plays great at the end of the season. The running game looks great. I'm probably naming things you're already going to tell me. But what are what are some focal points, you think, just for the, the squad heading into next season? I know it's early, but just some uh, things off the top of your head. Yeah, I just I, I think, you know, we have an absolute, you know, two studs at running back. Um, you know, I would feed those two guys the ball a ton, let our defense field positioning, let our defense, you know, let let teams try to work against us on a long field. Um, you know, our defense is nasty and, and, and going, you know, 60, 70 yards every time, that's gonna take a toll on offenses. And I think that's like one of our most important focal points, you know, field positioning. Let a team try to battle against our defense, run the football, um, you know, and then open up the play action and and and, and hit George deep on, on, and throw him a 50-50 ball, which is more like an 80-20 ball, as we've seen with, with GP. So I just I just think what everyone's kind of been saying, what the couch GM has been saying, run the football, give it to Jay, give it to Naj, let those two guys work for you because, I mean, those guys are, dude, those guys are incredible. Both of them are, are ridiculous. Thunder another like, guy, yeah, another guy yeah. that I want to ask you about, um, you know, not just turn over at the quarterback position, but the punter position, Cameron Johnston coming in. Did you get a chance to talk to him at all yet? Um, obviously, I mean, a guy that you're going to get familiar with. And I'm sure at the same time, just like you said about Kenny, tough to lose Presley. Tough, yeah. Um, I, I haven't talked I, – I, you know, reached out to Cam and – uh, congratulated him, whatever. And, and, nice. and so we were, we were excited about getting to work and if he needed any advice on where to live and any, any ins or spots to hit per manis, what kind of sandwich to get to hit me <laughs> up. Um, but at the same time, you know, loser Presley, you know, press was one of my best friends and, and, you know, we've been together for three years and, um, it, it sucks. It sucks. And because I know how, you know, talented Presley is and how much work he's put in over these yeah. years that people don't see when we're in the indoor, or when we're out, you know, kicking on different fields with different winds and working, you know, the stuff that we've worked. And, um, but I have no doubt in my mind, Presley will, will find his way on a team. Um, he's way too talented, you know, he's way too good and he knows it and he's working, he's working right now to get back and, uh, he will be back. So, but it is exciting, you know, to get a new guy and um, to work with somebody new, and 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 it'll be hopefully it'll, it will you know fill in right where Press left off, you know, right 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 in the mix with us. Where are you telling him to go? Aspenwall, Highland Park. Can't don't direct him to the south side. I mean, shady. No, nah, nah. not the <laughs> south side. You know, I normally I'm a South Hills guy. But, yeah, they, you know, a lot south, of north, a lot of a lot of people a lot of people hate on me because the tunnel and you know we got to battle the tunnel traffic. But you know the people that think the tunnel is like this devastating like traffic jam, they just don't know how to drive. Ride the right lane over from Banksville all the way down, and you'll get mm-hmm. you'll be able to cut people not cut them off, but you'll be able to just merge right in. The Yinzers are nice; <laughs> give a little wave and just. Let him in, squeeze in. And there's no traffic, but um, I, I told him. I said that he has. I think Cam has a, has a young son, and um, they're looking for more of a house. So, you know, probably up north where a lot of the guys live, just convenient for them. Wexford, you know, Cranberry, whatever. You yeah. know, Bill Burr. You know who Bill Burr is? I, I do. Boston legend. <laughs> Pat Fi- Pat Firebooth's boy, Bill Burr. Uh, have, I mean, you see that connection, of course, right? Is it mind blowing? <laughs> He, yeah, I, I would assume Cam has gotten that before, right? He's probably like, so sick of it. Like, I know. He's probably, he's probably like, come up with something new at least. Yeah. 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 He's definitely, he's definitely gotten that before. But I did see that. On, like, everyone was saying it on Twitter. And um, it, was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> That's great. So – uh, what what are you up to, you know, right now, this off season? What's kind of like your regiment like? Like obviously you're still staying sharp, you kind of just enjoying some R and R. What 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 is Christian doing right now? I'm just, you know, staying in shape, working out. Um that the workouts down at the facility have been great with the with the with the strength staff we have there. Um just, you know, trying to stay on top of my stuff, keep my weight on. Um 
just fine tune some some snapping things and uh, some technique things that I want to you know fine tune that people would have no idea about. Um, but you know, just kind of just staying on top of my things, um, working out, staying in shape, my weight, snapping. Um, and I'm getting married this summer, so we're we're no we're, way. We're busy. We're wow, busy. We're busy. oh, that's amazing. Where Thank at? You. Thank you. Uh, Nemo Colon. Okay, yeah, Nemo Colon's great. That's awesome. Congratulations, Mike is a Mike is a newlywed as well. So, oh, yeah, nice, really, Mike. Congrats. Really advice. Thanks, man. I don't really have much advice for you. I mean, the same advice that everybody says, right? You got to be. You got to be a yes man. Happy I'll give wife, you the advice. Life. Agree with everything. You know, yes, you got to. It looks great. You it's like it. I like it. Exactly. That's that's where that's I've been at right now. <laughs> Something I wanted to ask you too uh, before you get out of here. Like, what is like you know a personal goal? I know you said that you live. You know, you take every snap. Like, you know, it's your last. Like, you know, obviously don't get comfortable with the three year deal. Like, how does how do you try and better yourself going into each season? Is it just like, is a personal goal? Obviously the team goal is to win a championship, but what is something that you look to, you know, improve on, you know, for yourself and your game? Um, more, more so like my mental game. Um, mm. You know, how, how you respond to maybe throwing a bad ball or throwing a ball that, you know, I wasn't happy with, which, you know, happens, you know, more often than people think. Um, you might not see it, but, you know, it happens yeah. a lot around the league where we throw a ball and, you know, we know immediately it might look like it hits a guy right here, but it might flutter. It might dip off on you or whatever. And, you know, for me, I think um, strengthening your mental game and like figuring out how to bounce back and like actually bouncing back and throwing a good ball the next time and, and being, a, you know, just being a pro about it and um, carrying yourself the right way, I feel like that's an area, you know, that I've, I've grown in and I want to continue to grow in. I like that. Is there you any, said keep, you said keep the, weight on weight yeah. on, right? What, okay. What is the Permani sandwich then? Is it a Pittsburgh <laughs> pastrami? I'll egg? hit the, I'll hit, I'll hit the either pastrami or the Pittsburgh um, wow. loaded with hot, so, loaded with, yeah, loaded with some hot sauce, obviously extra fries, get the fries with cheese down here. The pizza Permani's is so underrated. I agree. Like, Hit the pizza, and hit the hit the Permanis and Robinson. The pizza's out of this world. Seriously, it's crazy. Underrated. Shout out <laughs> Permanis. Hey, uh, it was great having you. Uh, is there any games? Did you, did you look at the schedule for next year? Is there any games that you're like, you know, obviously all the AFC North games, but anyone that you're looking forward to the most? Um. You know, I, I look forward to all of them. I feel like playing in Denver will be in Mile High is going to be pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, I was a part of Denver for you know a cup of coffee, a short time, and um, that was cool. And I got to you know see the city and be in Mile High a little bit. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a just a cool yeah, just going to be a cool place to play. And one of our best friends there, one. Collins area, so it, we we got to go out there quite a few times. Not for a football game, but it's it just yeah, it's it's a beautiful place. Yeah, yeah, that that's probably one on my list right now. But obviously, like the AFC North games, like I look forward to going to Cleveland and going yeah. to ball. Like those are the those games are the best. Hostile, they, like they hate you. They like, they like, I mean, I know that they like in the past they thrown stuff at like Big Ben and like do they like your bus pulls up, you know, to the stadium? Like, are you like I know there's security there, but like how hostile are we talking? Because I know I heard stories about Philadelphia Flyer games, so I, I can imagine <laughs> Cleveland Browns fans aren't, you know, much better. So yeah, it. I mean, it. I don't think the the throwing of things. I think security has really, really yeah. uh, increased Amped since up. those days. But you're definitely, you know, you're definitely getting flicked off every bus ride. It's great. Like you, you're riding in and you're getting flicked off. They're screaming at you. People are, you know. <laughs> Just mooning you, doing whatever they can to just. Not <laughs> you're like you're, you got you're, the headphones they're like, on. Yeah, they're doing it to. I'm like sitting here with my headphones on, looking out the bus window, and people, grown men are like flicking off buses. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what's going on? It's, but it, it, it's great. That's what like makes the rival like it just makes it so much better when you ride into a game and like you feel that like, damn, mm -hmm. they hate us. This is, this will be great when we come out of here with a win. Yeah. And ruin their Monday. And there's nothing like a victory Monday. 
Nothing. Nothing. Yes. Well, hey, we really appreciate you coming on and I look forward to watching you um, for years to come. And we really hope that, you know, Duke's up. Seems like, uh, yeah, go Dukes right now. Bracket time. Really Dukes up. I, maybe I should take them to go to the Sweet 16. I mean, I, every time I pick, I, I, I should take just them all close, the way. Close, it, close yeah. in our eyes and just. I'm telling you. Can make, they're an 11 seed. So I, I that, that's pretty. I like that's that. pretty good. Yeah, I yeah. like that a lot. Good guard play. They got good guard play, and that's what it takes in March. Day Day Grant, Jimmy Clark, DeMichael, good guard play. will take you far in March. Let's rock. Yeah. Christian, yeah, appreciate you, you, man. We'll do it thank again. You. Yeah, thank you. All right, thanks, See you, man. Appreciate it. Easy. You got it. Good stuff, Christian Koontz. One of the first Steelers on record talking Russell Wilson, Kenny Pickett, um, as well as – Cameron Johnson, can't forget, new punter, of course, Bill Burr <laughs> up, up in the building. And, you know, listen, this is, uh, this is a brotherhood at the end of the day. You know, he's bummed that his buddy Kenny's gone, that his buddy Mitch is gone, that Mason is gone, that Presley is gone. Sometimes we as couch GMs, you take that out, right? You, you're not thinking about that. You're not factoring in when we're just sitting here with our Twitter fingers, um, you know, giving our sometimes hostile opinions. Yeah. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, this is this is a brotherhood. And, this, you know, these guys are never, ever going to come on and, and rip a teammate or say something negative about uh, the organization or the way things were handled uh, by the organization or any particular player. Yeah, and it was just, you know, really cool. Not only is Christian, you know, a great guy, I, I was really happy for him to get that three-year deal because – you know, long snappers do matter. And uh, I think that, you know, we got ours and local boy done good, as they say. So local really boy done good. I never heard that. Really? That's what they say. Yeah. I like that. You never see, they, they, you ever seen when he went undercover a giant eagle? Wait, Coons did? Yeah. It, uh, I think it was a training camp or something. No, it was a giant eagle. I think he was handing out samples. I'll have to send you the video. It's great. He's got the, he's got the best Yinzer accent, like yeah. straight. I would say like nothing fabricated about it. Straight, yeah, I would say like, Pittsburgh wise, it's David Bednar and Christian Coons like neck and neck for Yinzer of the Year every year, which I love them both. So it, it, it's hard to choose. Can't get can't get rid of either of those guys ever. I don't care. They could play for my team until they're seventy five years old, um, yeah. because their their Yinzer's true. You know, true through. So I feel that man. I feel that. So um, well, we appreciate great hanging out with them. Hanging out with us and uh, we'll do it again sometimes man I, I forget this live and, and we're live and so we appreciate you guys hanging out make sure you subscribe to the sick podcast dealer crazy follow us i'm jay york football this is mike dub sports one the sick podcast dealer crazy thanks for hanging out with us and that's a wrap hope you don't miss us too much until next time Follow the Sick Podcast Steelers Crazy on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Google Play, and Apple Podcasts.